Hey guys, Ryan with Tonic Site Shop here. And in this quick tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add blog posts to your Show It homepage. Um, it's a pretty quick and easy tutorial, uh, so hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna be using Lilette Blanc for this example. Uh, this is a website template that we sell, uh, but you could use any Show It template uh, to achieve this. The first thing that you want to do is turn your regular Show It homepage into a WordPress page. So to do that, all we need to do is click the three dots and then click on copy to blog template. And at this point, let's just rename this show it homepage to something like home old. Um, and that way we know that this is the old homepage. From now on, your new homepage is gonna be under blog templates. So let's name this homepage. And then what we need to do is on the right, you'll see template info and under WordPress template, uh, select front page. Now at this point, let's just hit publish so we can publish these changes. Uh, what, what this does is this is going to tell WordPress that we want this page to be our homepage, but we do need to set up some things in our settings as well. So head over to your WordPress dashboard and then once you're logged in, go ahead and click on uh, settings and then show it. So in the show it settings here, you're gonna see this home page, and let's just uh, make sure that this is checked, the load the WordPress homepage instead of the show it homepage, and then hit save changes. And then under, I believe it's reading, yes, under reading, we're gonna select home page, and then we need to select homepage here. Now you may not have this page already created. So if you don't have a, a WordPress page called home homepage, um, all you'll need to do is hover over pages and then add new page. And then simply type in homepage like that. This right here needs to match exactly what you have here. So if this just says home, then you'll need to make sure that your WordPress page just says home as well. But because we're using home page, we're just going to use that for our uh, WordPress page. Now, that's all you need to do. You don't need to add any content here. Then go ahead and click on publish. But I already have a page called home page. You can see that here. And so in our settings under reading, again, we just need to select home page and then select that page homepage. Now let's hit save settings. And now if I go, um, let's go to our site here. So let's go down to the blog template homepage and let's update this image here to something like that, let's say. And then let's hit publish. And I just wanna show you um, how you could just double check to make sure that this page is actually working. We're just going to update an image. If we go back here again, this is just our home page, right? And we refresh, you'll see that that image is updated. So we know that this page is now our home page and it is a blog template, which means that we can add a post view lookup canvas to pull in posts dynamically. So I'm going to show you um, how that's done here. I'm just going to change that image back. So if we scroll down on this template specifically, we have a section that's from the blog. Um, and this section is obviously very unique to this template, but again, you can design your own um, section like this, uh, or if you have a tonic template, most, uh, actually all of our tonic templates come with like a homepage, or sorry, a blog kind of layout on the homepage. Currently, this is all um, static, meaning, if you want to add blog posts, you just have to link your own. So you would update the image, add the category by, you know, typing it in here. So category, and then you would add your post title here. Um, and then you just link it to the actual post. Now this isn't dynamic, so it's not going to auto automatically update for you. Um, but if you wanted to automatically update, these are the steps that you're going to take. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to click this page tab and we want to add a few canvas views. 
So we're going to click the three dots and then add canvas view. And you can see I have three blog posts here. So we're going to add three canvas views. Okay. Now we want each blog post component to be in one of the views. So this is our first. So we're going to drag all of these elements to this view one. This is our second. So we're going to add those to view two. And this is our third. We're going to add that to our third. Now under the canvas settings, so just click somewhere within the canvas, like the white background. And what we are looking for is this, um, sorry, canvas. Uh, yeah, the WordPress right here. So um, instead of static content, we want it to say um, post view lookup. And now you can see all of a sudden all these posts show up again. Uh, what we want to make sure is that this blog, this canvas, sorry, is going to look for posts with a specific um, category or tag. So let's pause at this time. Let's go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard. And we are going to click on posts and you should have posts uh, we're a blog post created at this time. Um, what you'll, what you'll want to do is you'll want to create a category or a tag, um, called like featured or homepage, something unique that you can tag different blog posts with, um, that you want to show up on the homepage. So you can see, I have a tag called featured and looks like this blog post here is tagged featured this one here and there's a few other ones this one for example here as well so i want to use a tag called featured to show up on my home page so in our blog post lookup we want the tag name slug to be featured uh, and you can find the slug if you go back to your posts and then you go to tags, you'll see this featured. This is a tag that I created called featured. And if you click on quick edit, you can get the slug there. For example, if um, you have a tag that's multiple words, there's going to be dashes in between. So you can't just add uh, featured episodes like this to your tag slug. You need to add the actual slug, which is usually all lowercase and has dashes where the spaces are. Uh, so again, we're just going to use featured though. So let's go back here and add it to our slug number of posts. We only have three here, so we're going to just down that to three. Um, offset is if you want to offset. So for example, let's go back to our posts here and we have a featured uh, we can actually, yeah, uh, we can actually sort them by feature, but we have featured here, featured, featured. Let's go down the next one. Okay. Well, let's, we don't have another one. So let's quick edit and let's add a tag of featured and update. So now we have four posts tagged as featured. The first one is this one here. If I set an offset of one, it is going to skip the first one and only display the second, third, and fourth in the one, two, three positions. So if you offset it by, you know, five, it's going to skip the first five. So you'll make, you'll want to make sure that you have at least eight posts tagged as featured for this example here. Typically people will just leave this at zero. I think it's the easiest and you definitely just want to show the most current posts. So this is going to be the way to do that. Just keep your offset to zero. Uh, you can also order it by date or comment count, title, slug, and modify date. I'm just going to keep it to date and direction descending. Dire descending is um, from newest to oldest, not from oldest to newest. So descending and by date are typically what people uh, will set this as. So now this is all set up. And again, what we have is our post one, two and three. Now we're not done. What we need to do is set up um, each of these um, 
these elements as WordPress elements. So this image, if you select it, click on the image tab right here, and you're going to see WordPress featured image. So we just want to select that to, and this is going to tell WordPress to replace this image with the featured image of this post right here. Um, category, uh, let's just spread that a little bit. And we're going to set this uh, text property um, to the category top post top category, this one here. So by selecting a text box and then clicking on text properties, you're going to be able to set a WordPress placeholder. Um, post top category is going to show the, uh, the first and main category. If you do post categories, um, it will display all of the categories. So for example, this one, it's going to show featured comma marketing comma trending. Um, but that could get a little bit jumbled on the site. And so technically we just want to show one. I think it looks a lot better in designs as well. So again, we just want to do post top category. And then for this text box, we want to set the um, placeholder as the post title. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to um, replace this text here with the text you see here. Uh, now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, if a title is really long, it might start flowing into this image right here. So what we want to do is under text styles, uh, set the overflow to crop. And this is going to just make sure that it crops the text here, um, which typically is fine. And a lot of times people's posts aren't that long. If you know that your posts are uh, titles are really long, uh, what you could do is just uh, move, you know, this content down and then move this content down, move the button down, and then make sure that your uh, title boxes are a little bit longer. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, and we're just going to leave it on crop. So now we need to do that for view two as well. So you need to click into view two to actually access this stuff. You can't just click over here. So we're going to click on this image. And again, WordPress featured image. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Text properties, placeholder. This one's going to be post top category. And this one is going to be post title. So let's go to view three. And last but not least here, WordPress featured image. This is going to be the post top category and post title. Great. So last but not least, let's just link this button. So if we go to click actions, we want this to go to um, a page and we want probably want it to go to our blog page because um, this is going to allow people to visit our entire blog um, if they want to see more. Awesome. Oh, we forgot one thing actually. I need to make sure that these are overflow crop. Um, same with these as well, just, just in case you have a tag that's really long. So overflow crop and this one overflow crop. Okay. At this point, I think we're ready to publish. So let's publish. And you'll want to make sure that you publish to the blog as well. And let's go to our homepage. So if we scroll down here, perfect. We're going to see from the blog. And you can see now that our blog posts are actually showing up here. You can see the um, tag here, or sorry, the, po the category. This is the post category. Um, so this one's in weddings. These two are in trending. You can see that the uh, image is updated and the title's updated. We can see a little bit of the third line coming in here. So again, what I want to do is go over here and just bump this line up a little bit. And if we hit publish and publish, you're going to see that that issue is now fixed. And if we click on visit the blog, it just takes us to our blog page where we can see all of these posts as well. 
So here's that one blog post and they all work as well by clicking on them. You can click on the post title and it goes directly to the actual blog post, which is a really cool feature as well. So hopefully you guys learned something. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Bye.